In my new book, The Mystery of Doggerland, I explore evidence of a remarkably advanced lost civilization on an island off the coast of Great Britain whose descendants founded the megalithic culture that built Stonehenge. An island that long ago, like the legendary Atlantis, sank beneath the waves. Stonehenge has stood for over four and a half thousand years, but it is just one of thousands of stone circles erected by the megalithic people throughout the British Isles for centuries, starting around 5,000 years ago. Some are very much bigger, monumental complexes, such as Avebury, 20 miles to the north. This huge arrangement of monuments consists of a thousand foot diameter stone circle, originally of around a hundred stones weighing up to 40 tons, an enormous ditch and embankment, well over half a mile in circumference, and adjoining stone avenues, one over a mile and a half long. These astonishing megalithic complexes sometimes included massive artificial hills and alignments of monoliths that crossed the countryside, leading to smaller satellite stone circles. So, where did this ancient civilization originate? Until recently, it was thought that it may have come from northern France, where monolithic structures date from this time. However, although contemporary standing stones and stone rows are found there, there are no stone circles or earthworks anything like those found in the British Isles elsewhere in mainland Europe. Indeed, such megalithic complexes are unique to Britain and Ireland. The megalithic culture and their monuments ultimately spread throughout much of the British Isles, and thanks to the development of modern scientific dating techniques, it is now known that it began not in the south, where Stonehenge is, but in the far north, in the Orkney Isles. Here, the stones of Stennes were dated as the oldest stone circle to survive anywhere in the British Isles, Originally consisting of 12 stones, they were erected as early as 3100 BC. Less than a mile away is the huge megalithic complex known as the Ring of Brodgar, including the third largest stone circle in the British Isles. Similar to Avebury, it has a surrounding ditch and embankment with a circumference of around a quarter of a mile. Nearby are the remains of the 5,000-year-old settlement where the builders lived. Called Scara Bray, it was a remarkably sophisticated Neolithic village with a stone drainage and plumbing system and consisted of interconnected subterranean dwellings far more advanced than any other contemporary settlement in the British Isles. These people of the ancient Orkneys had developed complex construction techniques, mastered the shaping, moving and erecting of huge stone monoliths, excavated giant earthworks, made tools from copper and jewellery from gold centuries before the Bronze Age, and created sophisticated ceramics requiring much higher kiln temperatures to fire than elsewhere in Europe. Some of this pottery, when subjected to scientific analysis, was found to have contained substances extracted from plants likely to have been used for pharmaceutical purposes years in advance of the time. Incredibly, all this seems to have occurred virtually overnight in archaeological terms. Such an advanced culture must have taken centuries to develop yet there is no evidence of this happening on the Orkney Isles or anywhere else in Britain, Ireland, Scandinavia or mainland Europe. This culture must have originated somewhere, but where? 
After the last ice age, there was an extensive area of land to the east of Great Britain that joined it to continental Europe, called Doggerland. But as seas slowly rose and the ice melted, by 8,000 years ago it had submerged. That is, all except one surviving island to the northeast of the Orkney Isles, which, because the region had been rising due to geological forces, did not begin to sink for another 2,000 years. Was it here that the megalithic culture really began? In The Mystery of Doggerland, I examine the astonishing discovery of a stone circle similar to the Ring of Brodgar but very much older, located at the bottom of the North Sea, and recent excavations on the remote island of Fair Isle, the only part of the lost land to remain above the waves, which reveals evidence of advanced Neolithic technology. These and other crucial discoveries reveal compelling new evidence of a forgotten civilization that existed at least 7,000 years ago a people whose last survivors founded the megalithic culture that went on to build Stonehenge.